So today, I'm reviewing one of my most favorite watches, which is the Seiko Kutura Solar Radio Wave Chronograph Watch. Now with the holidays coming up, I thought that this would be the perfect video to give you my review of this Seiko Kutura watch model SSG009. If you're looking to buy it for yourself or give it to someone else as a Christmas present or even as a birthday or anniversary gift for your significant other. As we go through this video, leave me a comment down below. What are your thoughts on this Seiko watch and what watch brands do you like to wear? For me, I've had this watch over the past few years and I absolutely love its design. I'm first going to give you an overview of its specs, then my impressions, what I love the most about the Seiko Kutura Chronograph watch, some of its cons, and whether or not it's worth it for you. Check out the links down below in the description bar for this specific model and other similar ones from Seiko. So let's first dive into the general specs. This Seiko Kutura Solar Radio Wave Chronograph watch is completely solar powered and it doesn't require a battery. So when it's fully charged, it can last for about six months. Not only that, this Seiko Kutura watch is radio synced and it has a world time function. This, in my opinion, is the best selling feature of this watch because you no longer have to physically tweak and update the time every so often. This watch automatically receives radio signals to precisely adjust your time across the 25 different time zones, which are labeled across the circumference of the watch. For example, depending on where you are in the United States, you can press a button on the side of the watch that will precisely set the correct time depending on the time zone that you're in. And I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. Now in terms of size, the watch is about 44 millimeters and a half in diameter and 11 and a half millimeters in thickness. The watch glass, which is the clear cover that protects the watch dial, that's made out of sapphire crystal. This material is extremely strong. It can withstand cracking and it's also scratch resistant. The case itself, along with the bracelet, is made out of stainless steel. The watch is also water resistant up to 100 meters in depth, or about 330 feet. When you look at the dial, there is a one hour chronograph with a display for the date at the four o'clock mark and a 24 hour indicator at the three o'clock mark. And on the side, if you look closely, is a blue cabochon crown, which gives it that nice little touch and it just gives that nice accent piece to the watch itself. Now, before I share my thoughts of this Seiko Couture watch, don't forget to smash that like button so I know you like and appreciate my content. Now, let's talk about my impressions of this watch. I work a full-time job as a project manager during the day, and this watch helps me look classy, and just the everyday functionality that it provides me is amazing. The watch build quality is actually pretty decent right out of the box. It's a very sporty dress watch, and I love the polished look that it gives me when I have to dress up for work, go into the office, wear formal attire for special occasions, or when I, you know, when I go on date nights with my wife. So in terms of the aesthetic look, I love how the bold black dial gives off that nice contrasting appearance. If you look just a little bit closer, you can see that diamond argyle pattern that's around the dial indicators. Now in terms of the bracelet, it's completely stainless steel with a chevron style design, which gives it a really elegant look and really polished appearance. Now, of course, the very first thing that I love about this Seiko Kutura watch is the fact that it doesn't require a battery. Since it's solar powered, it runs completely off the light from the sun. You don't have to change the batteries or get a new battery every other year, which is a huge plus in my book. The second thing that I really love is that this watch automatically receives radio signals to precisely adjust the time every single day. There are four atomic clocks around the world which this watch sings to. You have WWVB, BPC, 
JJY and DCF77, which you can see around the dial in very small font. These time signals are transmitted across four regions of the world. So you have Europe, United States, China, and Japan. So every day, your watch will automatically sync to the signal that's closest to you. And I absolutely love this feature of this Seiko Kutura watch. I don't have to worry about adjusting the time manually using the crown because it automatically syncs to the closest antenna system. This same timing function also keeps the date accurate as well. Now let me show you how easy it is to adjust the time based on your time zone. There are four buttons on the outer rim of the watch. You have buttons A, B, C, and D. If you push the A button on the left bottom side and you hold it for three seconds, afterwards, the chronograph needle will move and once it stops, it's going to point to the time zone that you're currently set to. After you wait a few seconds, the chronograph needle will automatically reset and point to the 12 o'clock position. Now to set your time zone, first push the A button and hold it for three seconds. Once the chronograph needle shows your correct time zone, then push either the A or the B button to move it ahead or move it back to your desired time zone that you're physically in. Once you do that, the minute and the hour hand will update itself automatically to reflect your chosen time zone. I love that this Seiko Kutura watch automatically syncs and updates based on your time zone. It's incredibly easy to do this, and it's very helpful when you're traveling for work, going across different time zones, or visiting another country, for example. Something to keep in mind here, though, is that for daylight savings time, you do have to manually move forward or move back your time zone so it reflects the correct time, but that isn't too big of an issue. Now let's talk about a few cons that I've noticed with this Seiko Kutura watch. It can be complicated to set up this watch initially for seeking up the time correctly to the antenna system that's nearest to you, but once it's all good to go and it's set up, it's really a very elegant watch to wear. So just be sure to take your time during your initial setup, read through all of the instructions and follow all the different steps. For reference, it took me at least half an hour to maybe an hour to figure everything out, but by no means is it a big con for me. I'll include a link down below to the instruction manual for you guys to reference. Now I don't want this minor con to detract you because this watch keeps time literally by itself after you set it up. All you have to do is make sure to get it some light every so often because the battery is solar powered. So just the fact that it's solar powered and it keeps time automatically synced to a radio station are huge positives in my book. The only other very minor con that I noticed is that the Lumabrites, which is the watch's fluorescent luminous paint, is only on the 12 o'clock index and both the minute and the second hands. I personally wish it was on other areas of the dial so that it's much easier to tell what hour it is and what the time is when you're walking around at night or when you don't have that much light around you. Now for the final verdict. Is this Seiko Kutura Solar Radio Wave Chronograph watch worth it? Well, for me, it's absolutely well worth the investment. At the time of this recording, you can get this watch for roughly between $400 to $500 on Amazon, and sometimes even less than this when it goes on sale. So just be on the lookout. This is a very beautiful watch that gives off a lot of elegance and sophistication when you're wearing it. It's perfect for those fancy occasions when you have to go into the office or when you need to wear formal attire. So. For me, I've been actually really happy with this Seiko watch so far, and I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to have an elegant, classy dress watch that automatically syncs and automatically updates the time on the go, and you don't have to worry about changing or replacing batteries. So with that said, what do you guys think of this Seiko Kutura Solar Radio Wave Chronograph watch? I personally own the SSG009 model because I love the look and how elegant it is. I also would genuinely love to know your thoughts. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this watch. I truly hope that you guys gained value out of this video and I'm so glad that I could share with you what one of my favorite watches that I like to wear is. 
Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.